Hello everybody, this is Isaac, and I'm bringing you my brand new Valkyrie. I've already taken pictures of this box. You can see how nice it is all the way around. It's a pretty sweet box. Collector box, I like it. It's very nice, very nice. But unlike before, I'm actually gonna open this thing up and let you see what's inside. So hold on a second. Okay, here we go. You can see they boxed it up pretty well. I took the uh, plastic out that was inside. And there it is. Comes with this really cool card. So that's actually pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Back in the box. And here's the saber itself. This is it. Give you a real nice look at it. Those ventings on the side is pretty, pretty nice. See, there's a lot of detail from pommel. There's the bottom of the pommel. Nice venting. I'm going all the way up to the top here. Let you take a look at it up close. little space there in case you want to tap um, an auxiliary switch. I'm going to give you a good look at the emitter, which I think is really, really cool. Pretty nice. This is a large saber, several sections. This particular one has uh, the chassis built into it. So I'm gonna take it apart and show it to you. Hold on a sec, and we're back. So, different parts come with it. We'll start with the pommel, kind of a close up. This is what you're looking at. Look at the detail on this thing. That is nice, even on the inside. All right, so that's the pommel. And it's actually really lightweight. It's not as heavy as you'd think. It's fairly lightweight. Grip section or the body, as it were. It's got some nice threading. And then of course, this one you can buy with a chassis. And as you can see, it's not bad. It's got a little engraving on the side there, Valkyrie. It's actually pretty nice, pretty solid. Spot for the speaker there. And then that's the back of it. You hide all the wires and whatnot. And I believe it's all held in, um, probably with this screw. This is a button, by the way plunger type button for activation so when you when you load this bad boy up with whatever you're going to put inside it there's plenty of room to do so I'm going to do a another video that's going to talk about size comparisons to some other sabers that I have um, something that you can check out for yourself I know a lot of people were saying that they didn't particularly care for this saber because it turned out to be so big and I'm telling you it, it's pretty big it's pretty big um, dare I say it on par with an ultra saber type size um, but it's not overwhelming it's not super heavy it's not clunky um, I like it I, I personally like larger sabers myself um, so I might not be the best guy 
talk about it, but I do like this saber and I have some serious plans for uh, customizing it. I'm going to have this uh, powder coated and etched.